Before we start, let me ask you a question. What is allotropy? Have you ever heard this term before? Is that a no? Let me tell you. Allotropy is the phenomena where a substance exists in two or more different forms. Like carbon, sulfur also exists in several allotropic forms. Let's see what these various allotropic forms are. Sulfur exists in three allotropic forms namely rhombohedral, monoclinic and plastic sulfur. Rhombic sulfur. Atoms in rhombic sulfur are arranged as an eight member ring. The rings are packed together rigidly to give the crystal of rhombic sulfur. Monoclinic sulfur also consists of eight member rings. But the rings are loosely packed. Rhombic sulfur can be converted into monoclinic by heating it above 96 degrees Celsius. So these two forms can be interchanged. This temperature at which both the forms exist in equilibrium is called the transition temperature. Look closely at the molecular structure of plastic sulfur. It has long open coil or zigzag chain. I have a fun process coming up to teach you. We will learn how to change one form of sulfur into another. Look at the thermometer. We are going to heat rhombic sulfur. It melts at 119 degrees Celsius and a clear yellow mobile liquid is obtained. If this is further heated to 160 degrees Celsius, it produces a thick viscous liquid. If this liquid sulfur is suddenly poured into cold water, a soft sticky rubber like material is obtained. This is called plastic sulfur. The 8 membered ring as S8 breaks up and produces plastic sulfur containing long open coil chains. So to summarize, rhombic sulfur which is yellow and solid when heated up to 96 degrees Celsius forms monoclinic sulfur which is also a solid. When monoclinic sulfur is heated up to 119 degrees Celsius it forms a pale mobile liquid which is known as plastic sulfur. Heat a portion of the thick viscous liquid sulfur again. When the temperature goes above 230 degrees Celsius it becomes mobile again. The color becomes brown. Let's heat the test tube again. Note the temperature. It is 444 degrees Celsius. Look the liquid is boiling. Can you see the light orange vapors? Try holding a cold plate over the vapors. Vapors condense on the plate to form yellow sulfur powder. So let's summarize. When the viscous liquid is heated up to 230 degrees Celsius, it forms a mobile liquid. When the mobile liquid, which is solid, is heated up to 444 degrees Celsius, it boils and sublimes on cooling and a powder of sulfur, which is also solid. So, are we clear with what we have learned so far? That's great! Let's move on to understanding the physical and chemical properties of sulfur.